Yes, I love him, Mr. Cameron. He's a splendid man, really. In, in, in many ways. No one doubts that, you know? No, I've never doubted it. Magnificent fighter. I see. Oh, that's not all he is. He's generous and he's kind and he's sensitive. Why are you smiling? I'm sorry. That's how you shy away from the uh, physical attraction. I'm embarrassed you forgive me. I'm not ashamed of wanting Jack for a lover. I wanted him that way. Of course you did. And he would want you. Why? Because I'm white. No. I just meant that any man would be proud. Mr. Cameron, I'm proud that he wanted me. Is that clear? Certainly. Please, don't be distressed. Why can't they leave us alone? What's the difference? There shouldn't be a difference, ideally. People shouldn't be so blind about the physical side. A young woman, divorced, disappointed. Hey, please, if you finish, then... There's so much of it. How, how much is so much? In one two-day period, six million dollars came in. Six? Six million cash. Mm -hmm. We didn't know where to put it all. <laughs> I thought it was all legal. I mean, I, I guess I did until after the break-in when I remembered Gordon got so much of it. This is Mr. Liddy. It's also rotten. It's getting worse. And the only one I care about is Hugh Sloan. His wife was going to leave him if he didn't stand up and do what was right. So he quit. I was wondering if uh, Hugh Sloan was being set up now as a fall guy for John Mitchell. What do you think? <laughs> if you guys could get John Mitchell, that would be beautiful. Is there any evidence that uh, uh, any of Mr. Mitchell's assistants uh, were part of this? I had all the evidence. It was destroyed. I don't know who destroyed it. I think Gordon did a lot of shredding. Hard evidence. Well, I can't say that it would positively prove that they planned the break-in, but it would come pretty close. Look at that cute little boy over there. Do you think he'll ever get married again? I mean, to anybody. Oh. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's different if you don't have children, but... Even if Charlie and I aren't living together, and even if we're... sleeping with other people, and even if Charlie were to get married again... I don't know. He's still my husband, and he's still the father of my children, and... That stuff about till death do you part, that's really true. Well, let me ask you this. Let's say Charlie finishes his midlife crisis and he's had it with his little flings and he comes knocking on your door, asks for forgiveness, what will you do? I think that if he really loved me, he wouldn't have let me divorce him. I want that bear. It's time, Mom. Don't you think we should get it done? No. I'm uh, sorry I'm late. Let's begin. God said... <laughs> Forget God. No one is touching you. No one is... 